In the last week, when I was editing the video on the TradingView Superchart, a new button appeared in my right sidebar. And this button gives access to a brand new screener menu. So this time, let's go over this menu and see which options there are to configure this and how to use it to your full advantage. All the way above here is a pull down menu where you have the option to choose between the stock, ETF, crypto and DEX screener. The most capitalized header here also hides a pull down menu that gives access to other popular screens like most capitalized, highest income, net cash and a whole bunch of other stock breakdowns. Each of these have a short description of what you can expect of these breakdowns. It could be that you already customized one of these breakdowns or created a completely new screen. This can then be saved under a custom name. You can also save the screen results to a CSV for your log or sharing them on a social platform. Let's go over all the different other pull down menus that are available in the screener to see what they do. But not before I show you the options behind this setup button that gives access to the frequency of updates and the default currency shown in the screener. And also this arrow up gives you the opportunity to hide and show these filter buttons. With this filter you can filter out the default world markets. Also you have the choice to show only the major stocks with the primary listing switch. Below there is an option to get access to more world markets instead of the major ones on the platform. With this next filter you can select which one of your watch lists you want to use. But be aware that the items in this watch list should also match the type of the screener. So no cryptos in the stock screener. Now there are some more filters that you can use for the stock screener here. Like the stock index, price filter, percentual change filter, market cap filter, price to earnings ratio filter and more. And all these filters are focused on the stock screener. If I would use another screener, then other predefined filters will then be shown that were built for those particular symbol types. You see the ETF screener has other filters than the stock screener here. And the crypto screener also has other types of filters. Just like the desk screener does. So try out these different screeners and filters in your own time and see which filters work out best for you to get the market insights you are looking for. Now if you're not happy with your settings, then you can also always reset this with the reset button. Below here are also a lot of options that make it able to alter the layout of your screener to your own preferences. You can switch between table view and chart view and each of these views also have their separate settings to get the layout you want. For each type of screener there are also different overviews. The default layout for stocks show you the following columns. The performance overview gives you these columns. And I'll open each of these views to give you an impression of what you can expect. I can also show you one of the crypto screeners views here. But for a full and detailed overview of all the possibilities, it's better that you take some time to go over all these filters and see which fits your information wishes is best. You can also add additional columns to the view by clicking on the plus button. And this gives you access to tens of data types to choose from. The chart view button gives you access to yet another range of possibilities to get the information you are looking for. You can determine the grid with this option, the chart type you want to see here, you can select the interval of the charts, and finally there is a refresh button next to the amount of charts you currently have set in the screener. Now altering different settings show a new icon above that helps you save this overview to your library. So if you have set up this screener well and you have saved it to your screener library, you will never misinterpret the market sentiment and possibly a market opportunity again. Thanks for watching this short video and if you liked it, then click the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. And if you would like me to demonstrate something else on the TradingView platform, please let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. For now, this is the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!